Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. Many people are asking me about what is the difference between big data, what is the difference between Hadoop developer, what is the difference between data engineer. So this is like you know different different kind of terminology you might be wondering whenever you want to start your career as a Hadoop developer, big data engineer or data engineer. So I want to clarify one thing that all this terminology even though you have a different different names are there but basically we are doing all same thing so when i say that i'm working as a big data developer or a data engineer or how to spark developer also that time i can say that all those people who are working with this field they are working on the same technology so one thing should be clear in your mind that there are nothing like you know big data developer or data engineer and there is no differentiate in between them now there is a chances that you know different different people can work on different different technologies internally in that now what is the technology like let's take an example that i'm talking about hadoop spark just take an example that one of my friend is working as a spark developer so he, it doesn't mean that he will not work the he will not touch to the hadoop technology so even though he is working as a spark developer he will definitely use the component like hdfs if he is not using the cloud so spark also can be written in three different language right you know some people will work with the python some people with, will work with the spark with java and some people will work with the spark with scala also okay now do we need to learn all these three technologies uh, like hadoop hadoop and spark and then scala and python and everything so if i just concentrate on the spark i i personally feel like uh, i don't think so you should work you should know all this language at a time so let's say spark can be written in three languages like actually four languages are there along with the r is also there r is also one of the framework languages there so what i'm feeling like okay let's consider that you are choosing the python and we are good with the python so take spark with python no need to go to the java side or no need to go to the scala side okay there are plenty of projects are available in the market which will be working on pi spark project we called it as a pi spark me pi is a python spark me spark so there are plenty of projects are there the project which are looking for scala i don't think like you should personally go for such type of opportunity again if i compare it spark with scala or spark with python yeah at the end the concepts are same maybe the way you are writing the code is little bit change but at the end you know all the concepts are same only so if you are starting your career as a data engineer you should know hadoop you should know spark because nowadays spark is something uh, everyone is asking so better you should know it and on the top of it if you know any cloud technology consider any technology cloud i am not asking like you should know only uh, google cloud only or aws only or azure only you personally choose anything that's not a problem okay you can take uh, google cloud also or you can take uh, aws also or azure is also fine there is no problem but if you know how to run your spark job on the top of any cloud platform then i would suggest like it is like you know you can definitely ask for good package in the market and that's how everyone is starting so first of all don't get confused with the data engineer big data engineer or hadoop developer and don't uh, think like you need to work on the hadoop with uh, you need to work with the spark and scala and spark and python and everything you should know take anything and be very confident in that strong yourself with that technology uh, many times you know what i'm feeling like you should be always good with the one technology and you should know each and everything about that technology only one technology and the rest of the technology like if you know the basic also that is more than enough nowadays i completely understand the uh, the demand in the market the demand in the it industry are they are expecting that you should know everything but that's not practically possible when you are working with the it industry let's say you got a project on uh, spark with the python so you will automatically start learning that technology and the python person if fortunately or unfortunately uh, got the project in scala then he will start learning the scala also so one person cannot be you know strong but yes if your fundamentals are strong uh, you can learn anything okay and in this data engineer i would suggest you also focus on sql kind of things sql and linux 
so if you want to kick start your career as a hadoop developer first of all try to understand the sql try to understand the linux and try to understand any one programming language let's consider python and python is really booming in the market nowadays so that's how you can start doing the career now let's focus on the practice part how to do a practice if you have a personal laptop you can use virtual machine on the virtual machine nowadays how do uh, platform they are directly providing you uh, ready made machine you can use that if you don't want to use that because it's very heavy machine like you need very much high memory very much high ram you need to run that machine what i personally do is let's say you are installing ubuntu and on the top of that ubuntu you can install your softwares like you know how you you can install scoop you can install then spark you can install and you can do all this practice another option is that cloud platform also but cloud at the end like you need to pay some charges for that so best option is install ubuntu and install the limited software that you required to learn this a complete technology that is the best option and spark you can install on windows also so that's how you know we can do a practice and you can crack the interview as a hadoop spark developer if you are looking for real time hadoop spark training you can reach out to me and if you don't want to spend much time on this youtube platform no worries everything is available okay so please do like subscribe and share this channel okay bye bye see you again with the next video